Oakland police say they learned valuable lessons the night the Johannes Messerly verdict was issued earlier this month. And today they talked about what went right and what went wrong on that night. KTVU's Rita Williams live in Oakland tonight with more. Rita? Frank, some business owners say good. They hope police do figure out what went wrong so that their stores don't get looted again. I can give them a failure, basically. They wasn't doing their job correctly. Two and a half weeks later, in most of the display cases inside J.C. Jewelry on Broadway, still are empty. $50,000 worth of uninsured items gone. The only merchandise here, mostly gold teeth and rings, are items Tony Moes says looters dropped. I was terrified. I was in a state of shock. I didn't really know what to do, but just trying to protect my family. As this YouTube video shows, Moes says he, his partner, girlfriend, and baby were locked inside when looters tore off the locked metal gate, smashed the windows, and rushed inside, helping themselves. Now he laughs that he armed himself with these small jewelry hammers, but at the time, he says, it wasn't funny as he kept calling police for help. In 45 minutes, the police didn't even show up until then, and then they was up the block, around the block, around the corner, and they didn't even show up in, like, you know, in time. And when they got here... The people were still looting, and they didn't even stop them. Police say they can't just rush in and make arrests without backup. I'm going to end up uh, using force to more than likely take those individuals in custody. In addition, I had to send in a second group of officers to protect those officers that are actually given the mission of making arrests. The blame should be with the looters. Police brass today defended the department, saying it had enough officers, 900 from 15 jurisdictions, and it had the means to communicate to some extent with each other. Still, we're evaluating what we did. Um, there's a lot, there's room for improvement. The owner of Grand Lake Scooters next door to the jewelry store credits his dog Bigfoot, not police, with saving his store. But Robert Dragon says he's worried about what might happen the day of Johannes Meserly's sentencing. I think I'm going to have to board up because I think that's when, when the people are really going to get belligerent. Police say today they started debriefings with other departments to change some of their tactics so that they'll be ready for the sentencing November 5th. Reporting live in Oakland, Rita Williams, KTVU, Channel 2 News.